Sesame Street is ancient. It's been around since 1969. Nice and has been no stranger to dark subject matter. They've covered terrorism, divorce, death, and grief. There's even a Muppet named Cammy who is five years old and has HIV from an infected blood transfusion. And I also talked to them about HIV and AIDS. They have decades of history to pull from, but one episode was pulled from broadcast due to the widespread panic, trauma, and heartbreak it caused millions of live viewers. The episode was aired on March 14th, 1982, and it was called Big Bird's Big Surprise. It received a month-long promotional campaign and was going to be the first episode to be aired live with an audience. In Big Bird's Big Surprise, Big Bird revealed that he was expecting a baby. Discussing pregnancy was incredibly groundbreaking for the era, especially for a children's series. The practical effects were super impressive. Lots of respect to Henson and the crew. Eventually, a huge egg emerged from Big Bird's Big Bird Ussy. Its depiction was grounded, natural, and surprisingly mature for children's programming. The audience was quiet, respectful, and showed reverence for the natural beauty of childbirth. Eventually, the egg started to crown and Big Bird looked exhausted. He was moaning loud enough that the film crew on the adjacent lot had to pause production for the egg to be laid. There was no music, no commentary, just Big Bird moaning on air for 11 minutes. With a sudden pop, the egg left Big Bird's body and covered the audience in a frothy and sour viscous liquid that the crew referred to as Big Bird Juice. The live audience on lot celebrated and danced in the Big Bird juice, erupting in joyous laughter. Big Bird's bodily fluids even covered many of the Muppets on Sesame Street and some of the cast regulars. All of Big Bird's friends celebrated this beautiful achievement with him. The scene was very touching in its visceral imagery. Big Bird heaved and gasped for breath and then took a stunned and joyful look at the fruits of his labor. It was a massive and beautiful egg. The promise of new life, new stories, and new friends. Big Bird was quietly joyful and soft-spoken. Big Bird then invited the audience to lick the egg and the Big Bird juice and Big Bird bits off the table. Attendees reported that Big Bird bits were chewy and got stuck in their teeth very easily. The Sesame Street crew handed out sledgehammers and instructed the audience to smash at the eggshell to free Big Bird's baby. Big Bird started to sing a song about the different phases of pregnancy while everyone swung away with their hammers. The audience's efforts paid off four minutes later once Big Bird's song was done. A baby erupted from the shell and began gasping for breath. Big Bird let out a 70 second happy shrill scream loudly and uninterrupted, almost as if a tape was looping with no time for pauses or breaths. Big Bird's big surprise was a big baby. In a magical moment in TV history, the child emerged from the egg with a deep yawn, a stretch and a slow and cautious gaze at all of the onlookers. Millions of viewers across the country were glued to their screens all at once. However, the moment of joy took a strange turn. The baby gazed around the room muttering, buh, 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 buh. It began to breathe quickly and hyperventilate. Big Bird covered his face and began to whimper, not again, not again, please, not again. Big Bird's baby fell over in front of the audience and crew, gasped for breath, wheezed on the studio floor covered in eggshells and Big Bird bits, and it let out a death rattle heard in millions of homes and daycares all at once. This new life was snuffed out as quickly as it came to be. In the darkest moment of the episode, Big Bird took his child under his wing and began to ask him, are you okay? Repeatedly. No answer. A terrifying quiet overtook the room. Big Bird's pleas echoed off the walls with only the hum of cameras to cut through their desperation. The cast and crew behind the scenes were shocked and heartbroken by this new turn of events. Camera operators' eyes stung from wiping tears away while they were still covered in Big Bird juice. Jim Henson famously stepped out of the room and sobbed heavily in the hall outside. The on-set audience erupted into a choir of sobs and shrieks of mourning and horror. American suburbs sounded like haunted choirs as families across the nation mourned all at once. In an interview, one father said, the only thing that came close to this trauma was 9-11. The celebrity guest, pop singer Hannah Springer, was moved to tears. She later revealed that her Grammy-winning album, Baby Boots and Big Bird Juice, were inspired solely by the event and tremendous impact that it had on her. She died of suicide four years later on the anniversary of the event. 
Many of the Muppets and their performers suffered from PTSD following the event. Nothing prepares you for something like this. My kids had never seen me cry before. Nothing is sacred once something like this happens on Sesame Street of all places. The world will never be the same. Big Bird's big surprise ended with the child's flesh dissolving and decomposing rapidly on camera. The body weighed over 330 pounds and would come apart if it was lifted by the arms and legs. The only way to remove it was by a construction crane. What was supposed to be a television special about joy in new life ended with the grim reality that we live in an uncaring and brutal universe. Moments of true happiness are fleeting and the forces of entropy eventually win out over everything with enough time. Rest in peace, baby Big Bird. As a member of Gen Z, I can't imagine what it was like seeing this all unfold live on air. They don't make kids shows like this anymore, and I wish filmmakers treated their audiences with more respect. The real world is rough, and it's important that we equip our children with the tools that they need. With that said, hug your loved ones a little tighter after watching this. The world is full of uncertainty, and you never know how much time you truly have with the people in your life. Sesame Street was a trailblazing and incredible show. It was canceled in 2004. What a legendary and deep special episode. If you like this and you want to see more, subscribe to Jake Paul.